Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I was asked by a friend of mine to help root his OnePlus 8T. So, I thought I would share with you guys the steps that I used to quickly and easily unlock the OnePlus bootloader and enable root on the 8T. But before we jump right into it, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Android tips, tricks and customization videos. So for this tutorial, all you're going to need is the OnePlus 8T and a Windows PC. Now before we can unlock our bootloader, we need to make sure we have ADB and Fastboot set up on our computers. For this, just simply head to the Signage Mod website, which I've linked in the description below, and download the latest version of Minimal ADB and Fastboot, which we're going to use to not just unlock our bootloaders, but also flash our phones with a patched file. So to keep things simple, make sure to download the EXE version from the website as I'm showing here. And of course, install it following the on-screen prompts. Now while it downloads, let's jump over to our OnePlus 8T. Here, we want to head into our phone settings and enable the developer options. Just simply tap the build number repeatedly in the about phone section until you see this message on screen. And before we move on, make sure to jot down your phone's model number as indicated here. Now, when you head to system, you'll see the newly unlocked developer options, which we're going to use to enable OME unlocking, advanced reboot, and USB debugging. And once done, simply hold the power button, and using the three dots in the corner, you want to select the bootloader option which will restart your phone into fast mode. Here, you can see the state of your bootloader, which currently should be locked. Now that our phone is set up, let's connect it to the PC and load up the minimal ADB software. Now here, we're simply going to type fast boot devices and hit enter. At this point, if your PC has the correct ADB drivers installed, you should see your phone's ID appear here. However, if you don't, here's something you can try. From the video description below, download the older version of ADB installer, which will contain a driver installation option. Just simply start the program and using the Y and N buttons on the keyboard, you want to only install the driver as I'm showing on screen. And once done, you want to head over to your device manager and find your connected Android device. In my case, the device appears under Kidocom. However, for you, it may be under Android or even other devices. And once you've found it, you simply want to right click and install our new driver, making sure to pick from the list available on your computer. And if you have multiple ADB Android drivers, then feel free to give each one of them a go until your phone appears using the fast boot command. But if you're still struggling, make sure to check out XDA forums for a few other alternative fixes that you can try. So now that we have ADB set up, before we unlock the bootloader, keep in mind that this is going to wipe all of your data from your phone. So if you haven't already, make sure you back everything up. And once you're ready, simply type fast boot flashing unlock into the ADB terminal and hit enter. After a moment, you should see this OK indicator in the terminal and your phone displaying this unlock message. Now, all that's left to do is use the volume buttons to select unlock and confirm with the power button. At this point, your phone is going to start to wipe all of your data. So just give it a few minutes to finish and restart back into Android. Once done, you're going to need to go through the full Android setup process re-enable developers mode just as we did earlier and then make sure to turn on these three developer options once more. Now when you head into fast boot mode you should notice that your bootloader device state is now unlocked. Now let's finally root our phone. Linked below is this guide on how you can create your own custom rooted patched firmware files for the OnePlus 8T courtesy of XDA developers. But don't worry, this is not why we're here. If you scroll a bit further down, you'll find pre-patched files for every AT model ready to be flashed. Now just make sure to select the right phone model and firmware version that you have installed. In this case, I'm using the model K2003 
and running the latest current firmware. Now simply download the patched file and let's head back to our open ADB command window. Here simply use the command fastboot flash boot space and drag and drop the downloaded patch file before hitting enter. Now just give it a few minutes to finish the flashing process and once completed you should see the OK indicators on ADB and your phone should start to reboot. And that's it, your phone is now rooted with Magisk installed. And as a final note, if you want to pass the safety net test, just simply enable the Magisk hide option within the settings and then make sure to hide it from all of the Google Play services and then simply reboot. And if you have any banking apps, make sure to do the same for them too. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.